Okay, so hello and welcome back to another JavaScript bot tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be covering a kind of a request because, um, well, I'm deciding to request now. Um, someone was basically wondering how to do a kind of team picker. So like you can have the bot store a like lineup of teams, like a two teams, and then you can assign captains and pick members and then, you know, that'll sort that all out. So that, um, well, basically what we're going to make is we're going to have a way to store 10 people, then a way to pick two captains, and then those two captains can then pick the players for each team. So we'll end up with basically two lists um, where we have the members and the captains, or I guess by that point the captains doesn't really matter. Uh, this will probably be a two-part video, because uh, I, well, it'll be a two-part video. <laughs> it just will be, okay? You yeah, can live with that. Um, obviously, if you have any more ideas for these uh, Discord bot tutorials, uh, you know, what you want to uh, make your bot do, because obviously uh, it's good practice to try and make it yourself, but I understand that some of this is quite complicated and getting your mind around it. So if you have any specific requests and they're not too difficult, I mean, even if they are difficult, I'll still think about it and figure it out. Because um, before these tutorials, I basically think how I would do it, make it, test it, make sure it works, and then, you know, do the video on it. So I'm not here sitting here struggling, thinking during the video. Um, same with all my other videos as well, so obviously with Unity and whatever, you've got any ideas, leave them in the comments. I have a text file of plenty of ideas to keep me going for a while, but it's always nice to keep hearing more. And obviously if you want, then you know, show your support, that'd be lovely. Uh, just before we jump into the video, um, on Discord, uh, I have been kind of asked by the Programmers Valley Discord server. I've been added as a member and I use the Discord quite often. Um, we have different uh, channels for all the different languages. It's kind of like my server, but quite a bit bigger. You get, you've got more people in here, more professionals as well. Um, my server is more of a kind of you come for help. This is like the same, but with also a lot more people that know what they're on about. And it's just generally more active, you know, because they've got more members. Um, I would recommend joining uh, this and obviously as, as well as mine. I'll put the link to both in the description if you want to join. You know, it's just something to be part of a community. But anyway, let's get into it. So I might actually keep my Discord window ready then uh, if I'm going to be using it for this video. So let's just minimize it there uh, and turn off the bot. Okay, so first of all, uh, the request is, you know, make some way of storing members. Now, there's only me in the server, so I can just store me multiple times. But when you make it, you'll probably want to have a way of being like, so the same guy can't join twice. Now, let's say you have a team and you play a game and you want to start again. You're going to want to reset. So we're going to first of all create the simple command, which is going to be a way of resetting your list. So let's just add a new uh, group here called, we'll just call it team. This, these can be team related commands. Um, so we'll add team and then we will create a new folder called team and our first command uh, we're going to call it um, new underscore team dot js so this is obviously going to be the uh, the command for starting the team afresh this is going to be a really easy command to be honest uh, I'm just going to chuck this in and do a few tweaks so we're going to call it um, new team command uh, now we'll call the command, or we'll just do exclamation mark um, new team. I'll just keep it all lowercase. Uh, new team. Let me just check, just coin flip. Uh, I don't think any of my other things even have. Um, that's fun underscore merit. Fine, I'll do new underscore team. You, you can do the commands, whatever you want. Um, and we'll just say, you know, uh, create, say, new team. Whatever. Okay, now we're going to wipe this because I just copied that from the other one. And we'll just call, we'll say we're going to export the command so it's available to be used. So what all we literally want to do is we want to have a list and this this uh, function here is just going to reset reset the list. Now let's say you had a list uh, like var, blah, 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 there's your list. If you wanted to set it, if you wanted to basically wipe the list and start again, you would literally just, you know, presumably you've declared it somewhere else, you would just say, well the list is now equal to this, which means a blank list. But we need a list and this list is going to be accessed from multiple scripts and we could have like really awkward ways of passing the list around and probably do something wrong somewhere and get it lost so the easiest way is go to the go to the head script the you know main bot script and we'll just make a global variable which is accessed by all of the scripts in the module so if we say global dot and then we think of a name so we'll call it like uh, current team members equals you know empty list if we just write current team members in any of our scripts, it's going to refer to this list, so it's now globally accessible. The downside to this is we can't ever make another variable in our thing called current team members, but we hopefully should never have to. If you do, then obviously you have to think about that. 
So that's global current team members. So if we go into here and we say, um, what is it? Current team members equals blank. Um, that is literally going to just take it and blank it. And we can then say, uh, you know, message dot reply. Um, uh, the current team has been reset. And then we'll just go node. Whoops. Node. Oh, did that work about the dot? I don't think it worked. No, it's not worked because it's not said ready. Um, yeah. Okay. Node. Ah, I can't type. Node space dot. Calm. Ready. Okay. We'll bring up the bot. And we'll say, uh, what is it? New team. New underscore team. The current team has been reset. Now, obviously, we don't have any proof of it being reset, so we can. I'll show you that when we actually get to it. Um, now we need to actually create a way of joining a team. So, as you might expect, we're going to create another team command. Uh, so we're going to create a new file, uh, join underscore team uh, dot js. We'll take new team and we'll pop it in there. And we'll just quickly change a few things. So this is going to be a join team command. This command is basically, instead of making the um, making the command and then you putting in parameters for the people you want to join. We'll just have it so that the person who wants to start it all off calls this command. This might be only accessible by people with a certain role. That's it. I need to make certain commands accessible by certain roles. That that can be covered in the next video as well, to be honest. Um, and then anyone else in the server that can join, whether that requires a role or not, it's up to you, um, will do this other command, this join command, and it'll add them because remember, we pass in the message here, which we can also refer to the person who sent it. So we can add people to the list without even having to put in their names. The, the bot knows who it is. So if we uh, do join team command, and we'll just put, you know, a uh, new team, we'll just put join underscore team. Uh, this needs to be team. Did I not do that in the other one? Sorry, if you forgot, you need to do that as well. Uh, team, team, okay join team we'll say uh joins uh the current team there we go okay now what's it going to do well assuming you know anything about lists let's say you've used python you would do a list name dot append and you put in a value to put on the end of the list the way to do appending in javascript is called push and then you have pop to take something out of the list push and pop sounds much more fun than append and remove in Python. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, let me just remember what it's called, uh, current team members. So we'll say uh, current team members dot push, and we pass in something. So we're going to add the message dot author. Now, the good thing about message dot author is it's not just the person's name as a string. It's actually all the info about the person. So it's going to have their ID and all these other things. And if you have someone's ID, it means you can refer to them in the server rather than just their name because if you refer to someone's name and try and access them back let's say for example i don't know maybe they've changed their name or the nicknamed or something and it's going to cause problems so having their id is like they're solid you know it's like the dna they can't change their id as far as i know unless you make a new account or something stupid like that so basically what this does now is whenever we call join team it's going to add the person who called it to the team and then um to be honest what we'll do is we'll we'll go back to the um main thing and we'll just have another um message command well no we'll, i don't hear we'll say like um uh, else if because this doesn't need to get run if they put hello because it's not going to be hello if message dot content is equal to let's say they say um i don't know um what's the i'll, I'll fix this what's the current team and okay the reason why we're getting this problem is because um this is closing the string here but what you can quite neatly do is you can just do this there you go so it's going to treat it as a string still because that's a different string character to this string character that's the benefit of having speech marks and quotations uh, so we're saying if um that's the thing they put in i mean it's quite a long thing but you, you never know you could change it to be what you want we'll then print so we're going to say um like message dot channel um what we're going to say uh message dot channel dot send and we'll send in the uh 
current uh, team members. Now, what we'll do is we will say, let, let's just do this. So, assuming I've done everything right, there's no errors. Okay, good. That's a good start. So, you know, we'll make sure the team's reset, even though every time you restart the bot, it will be. Um, we'll say, you know, new uh, team. Let's reset. We'll say uh, join team. And then if we now say, um, well, why did I make this such a long thing? Uh, if we just say, you know, what's the current team? Stop a dino. And then um, let's say we then join it again because we're someone else. We'll pretend that we're someone else. Join team. And we print it again. It's two dapper dinos. Obviously, if we had everyone do, you know, join team with other names. So join underscore team and then join underscore team. This is now adding us to the list and it's going to print the whole list. And this has reference to the person. Yes, it is adding them. You could just get it to print the string. Even You're storing them, but you could actually just get it to print the string. Um, so if this is the author, it's dot .username. Um, well, see, the problem is it's sending the list. You would have to loop through the list. So um, let's say well, one cool way. I'm going to, in, in the next video when I continue this, we're going to send it as a rich embed, just like I showed in the video where we create these custom things. We could have two rows, and the two rows could be the two teams, and we could have like team one, boom, team two, you know, down here. We could even have an option for the captains to choose their team names and so on. We could, you, you can just extend this to be as complicated as you want, just to have like a cool bot system. Uh, how long is this video? 12 minutes. Should I cover anything else in this video? Um, what I will cover is, I'll, I'll show you this um, looping thing maybe. Uh, well, no, yeah, I'll show you the looping thing as an embed for now. So what we'll do is, if you sh if we go to the um, info about me, show we see we did an embed, uh, sorry, embed. So if we get um, this into here, so we'll say um, team info equals this, just like uh, in the info thing, and then we'll do all these things. So we'll do uh, dot set title. I just need to remember I'm doing this right. It's, yeah, dot set title. Then we'll we'll say what we want the title to be. So the title can say um, like current team members, and then uh, we don't want to, we want to just go dot again. What else do we want to set about it? Um, we could do we could add fields, we could set colors, whatever. Um, you could even have a thumbnail. Obviously, as I said, like do whatever. We'll say. Um, I wonder if inside here we can do a loop. Let, let's see if we can. We'll say for um, int. No, sorry, this isn't. This is for var i equals zero. I is less than current team members dot length count. No, it's like it's length in this. Um, increase i, and then. Um, I'll say dot set title. Um, no, not set title. We do set field. So we're going to add a new field for each person. So dot set field, and we're going to pass in um, current team members um, i wherever we are in the list. Now it's saying it's having a problem because it's a uh, it needs to be here. So, how we're gonna loop? Because we're inside the variable here, kind of like setting that. So what we'll do is we'll take this out of the thing, and we'll say um, team info dot set field. That should work. Um, and then at the end of this whole thing, we then need to do you know message dot channel dot send um, our team info. And this was obviously something I didn't expect to add. So if I've done it wrong, I've not had time to practice this. Well, practice. It should, it should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. So if we um, go to Discord and we'll say, you know, uh, join team, join team. We'll do it three times. So this is three different people joining, pretend. And then we'll say the stupid, you know, what's the current team? Yep, problems. Um, it's saying that Discord is not defined in the new Discord rich and bad. Oh, I didn't actually. Okay, so if you look in here, we actually added Discord library, whereas this would use Discord. Yeah, okay. Um, 
That was just me forgetting a library. I should just have that in there anyway, to be honest. Uh, there's no harm in it, I don't think, unless certain things overlap, but we'll see. No dot. Alright, let me just do this. I'll just copy and paste it much faster. Join team, join team, join team. What's the current team? Ah, more problems. Um, dot set field is not a thing. It's add field. Why am I being an idiot? This is what happens when you don't prepare for a particular part in the video. That, that's why I wanted to end it early, because I'd done all this other stuff in preparation, and yet I hadn't done this. One, two, three. What's the current team? Well, this is showing you debugging, you know? There we go. Uh, so what it's actually doing is it's... Um, it is adding all the members, but it's adding uh, their... Um, well, it's just printing... You can't add someone inside an embed. So if we do i.username... Let's have a quick look at this. I don't matter if the video drags on a little bit longer. It's not too long. You can stick around. You can try and figure this out if you want on your own. I'm just thinking of a cool way to do this. Uh, so I have three people joining. What's the current team? There we go. Um, it's saying undefined under it. And I'm wondering why it says undefined. Why is there like another text field under it anyway? Um, just adding field. I don't think it usually, um, whoops. Oh, cause I didn't actually, yeah, okay. Um, basically when you do a, um, yeah, I wonder if I can just set it to blank. I'm sure I can. Uh, if you go to the thing, it takes in a second parameter for, um, on the field, it takes in a second parameter. So, We'll just say, like, blank, maybe? I assume that would work. Unless you actually do want to put something there, you could say member one, member two, member three, um, and so on. Uh, oh, this, is, this is painful to do. One, ah, damn it. two, three, and then What's the current team? Ah. You can't actually have the value empty. Let me just go and check uh, what I did on the, in the mirror, in the info, sorry. Um, so we have string, there's a title, string is a description, true. Um, we'll just say, um, member name I've got an idea, I've got an idea we'll move this and we'll put that afterwards and we'll say um, member plus i dot to string Let's just have a look at it, see how this works. I am currently just messing around, to be honest, uh, just to try and make it look good. If, I'm just going to add myself twice, to be honest, now. Um, there we go. Obviously, yeah, also, one other thing is to um, remember list start from zero, so we would just say, you know, i plus one uh, dot two string. Okay, I think that's the video done. Um, that's pretty good so far, I think. So we're gonna, you know, uh, join, 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 join quite a few times. And we're gonna, so what's the current team? There it is, it's currently Dapper Dino, Dapper Dino, Dapper Dino, and Dapper Dino versus no one. And then just to prove that it works, we'll say, um, new team. And then we'll say, what's the current team? It's, it's empty. So there you go. That is this video done. I am probably halfway there to getting this whole system working it, the base things there for it which have to do some tweaking uh, and one more thing really um yeah so even if you weren't looking for this video in particular i hope you enjoyed it and it might have taught you something about just using disco bots in general all these tutorials should help you um obviously yeah if you want any specific requests and just ask um show support on these uh, videos by uh, leaving a like and subscribe i'd love that a lot thanks for sticking around for these past 20 minutes thanks for watching and goodbye